Bwana Yesu makofi mazuri. Ame tutenda mema. Ame tutenda mema. Ame tutenda mema. Ame tutenda mema. Yes. Bia Bwana Yesu makofi mazuri. Amen. Mnaweza kukaa. Mnaweza kukaa. Amen. Amen. Hebu huyo mtu atuwekee hiyo msari tena tusome nikiondoka hapa. Ah, uh, Luka moja 30. Weka message Bible. Yes, Mother Angel assured her, Mary, you have nothing to fear. God has a surprise for you. Amen. May the Lord surprise you. Amen. Bana aku surprise. Amen. It is only God who can do this. Amen. Mungu anaweza weka mkutano. Akaamua atumane. Bana Yesu asifiwe. Malaika aliambia Mary. Usiongope. Bingu imeamua kuku surprise. Amen. Bengo imeamua kufanya nini kuku surprise may the lord surprise you amen nakwambia vile mungu ameni surprise na si nataki kusema unajua wa shida ya waalimu wa wanafundisha na na ushuhuda wa maisha yao amen bwana yesu asifiwe eh na nashukuru bwana kwa wote mitume manabii wako katika hii nyumba wa injilisti bwana Yesu asifiwe na kila mtu na kila neema ambayo yako kwa hii nyumba bwana Yesu asifiwe sasa tumevika wakati mzuri amen wakati unataka kumuita chama ni wetu ili atuitie bishop aweze tukaribishia muhubiri nafikiria programu iko hivyo karibu sana pigia chama ni makofi anapokuja amen Amen. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, hallelujah. Amen. Sijika bwana jirani ambaye anaitikia amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Nasema praise the name of the living God. Amen. Ah, uh, ni usiku mzuri. Asante sana Pastor Gustin na hakika ni wakati mzuri ambaye Bwana amefanya Pastor Gustin ameanza na ushuhuda na naona ameweka msingo wa ushuhuda Usiku wa leo ni usiku wa kipekee Haleluya kwa sababu ni usiku ambaye Bwana mwenyewe amefanya kusudi Na sijui kwa nini Mungu amenikumbusha miaka za nyuma in the late 90s nikiwa malindi ndio nimefika na ikawa tunakesha hapa JCC <laughs> madhabao ikiwa mali pale the late 90s na naamini kwa moyo wangu wote kwamba i am who i am moja wapo ya sababu ni hizo kesha hata usiposeme amen naelewa kwa sababu ya mua yao because moja wapo ya sababu ni hizo kesha wakati huo nilikuwa nimekuja kutoka bara nilikuwa nimetoroka mwito na nilipofika malindi moto kawaka ndani yangu zaidi mimi ni moja wapo wale ambao walikuwa wakosi kesha mpaka wengi wakafikiria kwamba mimi huwa ni wa JCC. Kumbe alikuwa anaja kutap, kutap bwana alikuwa ni surprise, alikuwa ameniandalia surprise. Hallelujah. Na through your kesha nikapata mke. Si kwamba nilikuwa nakuja kuombea mke lakini bwana akani surprise. Hallelujah. Rio Kesha nimebarikiwa Mami siwasalimie hewani <laughs> Amen
my first born sister Salimia Hoani. My last born sister Salimia Hoani. <laughs> Hili ambacho ningependa kusema kabla ya mleta bishop kutuletea mnenaji. Usiku wa leo ilikuwa ni udumu katika madhabao haya. Baba siku ya chukulia lately uliposema kwa fellowship kwamba chairman atahubiri. And for that reason I started praying for this night. Nisema Mungu Iyo ni heshima ya kipekee naomba unisaidie na maandiko yanasema kwamba wanaongozwa na roho wa Mungu ndio wana wa Mungu haleluya kongamano ya jumatano ya familia nikamsikiza mninaji nikatoka pale kama nimebadilishwa sana nikaenda dhombe ya wazee nikahudumiwa zaidi kasikia roho bwana ananiambia ile nafasi hesabu mwenzako kuliko bora kukuliko ile hesabu ile, ile, ile nafasi ipeane kwa ajili ya mji wa Malindi nikamwendea baba nikamuomba na kaitikia Maandiki nasema katika Mathayo 10:41 When you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet you shall receive a prophet's reward And when you receive a righteous man in the name of righteousness you shall receive a righteous man's reward Kile ambacho namaanisha usiku wa leo ni wa kipekee Bwana ametuma neno lake ili tukapate kupona. Na kwa sababu ya hiyo naomba tusimame ili tukampokee baba askofu a bishop Mathole na tambo wepo wako kwa sababu najua kwa bimegarimu. Ili watu mkono wako mbele za Bwana tunapompokea baba askofu Ndio watu mkono shukuru bwana anapokuja mwambie bwana asante kwa usiku wa leo asante bwana kwa mtumishi wangu ambao umemleta jina lako libarikiwe haleluya thank you jesus nina shanga nikielewa wewe ni zaidi ya vile nilivyoambiwa juu yako tena sauti yako inua mikono yako usiendia sauti zote ninazosikia ninashanga ninashanga 
de pata Dá-me a do peito a Joshua, look for a Moses for you to continue. I mean, I'm going to be a Moses to be a Moses. Unajua uyu pastor Augustine ananafasi ya kuenda mbali sana kama hata kengeuka. Kama hata kengeuka. Thamani mungu alizo ndani yake. Anaenda mbali sana. But. Atafute Moses. Wake. Unaona yu pastor wiyo? Umu nye suti. The, the ever smart pastor among us. The ever smart. I, I love him. Anaenda mbali sana. Sasa staki nianze kuingilia shuli si yangu. Lakini nimeshuhudiwa ni seme hivyo. Amen. Um, yule naenda kumleta hapa. Ni mtu anatumiwa ni mungu kwa njia isio ya kawaida. Uh, nilikuwa nikiongea na mtu. Nikasema. Bada ya Amerika kuipiga Japan. Na kuisambaratisha waliporudi kuijenga kule kwa sababu wa Japani ni wapagan wasingeambiwa the bible says maana wakiambiwa hivyo they take an offense so they came up with the principle biblical principles without quoting a scripture without mentioning the bible 
without saying the book of Luke. Wakawafundisha wa Japan principle is the success. The Japanese are the most successful among the most successful people in in, Afri- in the world. Now, alipo mention statement in China kwamba he's writing a book by the Holy Spirit. Alafu avipeane shuleni. He's removing the name of a scripture chapter so and so. Nikasema bas. Mungu ameanza kuenua watu watakao badilisha nchi hii. Kwa hivyo ukuja kwa bahati mbaya I guarantee you hutajuta vile umekuja. Amen. Amen. Bishop Chris nimemjua simu yake michache. Na chairman na committee yako alipo mandate nitafutie muhubiri wa kongamano letu. I thought of three but the name that featured most was him. And I don't regret why he has come to Malindi. This night may be your night. I guarantee you. So, tuweke mikono yetu pamoja sasa ninapomleta mhubiri Pastor Chris. Alete neno la Bwana. Weka mikono yako vizuri. to Jesus. The Lord is good. I said the Lord is good. Please turn around to your neighbor and tell him I'm glad you came here tonight. And another neighbor and another neighbor and another neighbor. Which means you turn to everybody around you. Inayomaanisha kwamba ukiyakia kila mtu aliye karibu na wewe. Glory be to Jesus. Utukufu kwa Yesu. I want to appreciate and honor Bishop Kakala. Nataka kumridhia na kumheshimu askofu Kakala. There is a principle I live by. Kunayo kanuni ambayo mimi ninaishia. When Bishop called me, wakati askofu aliponipigia simu, I told him give me like an hour. Nilimwambia nipe kama saa moja. And then I called somebody else who was to host me the same week. Alafu nikapigia simu mtu mwingine ambaye alikuwa anikaribisha wiki hiyo hiyo. And then I asked them to move their meeting. Na nikamwomba kwamba asongeshe mkutano wake because when fathers call they come fast kwa sababu wa baba wanapoita wanakuwa wa kwanza everybody who works around me knows that kila mmoja anayefanya kazi nami anajua hiyo i don't say no mimi sisemi hapana to those who are the elders and the fathers wale ambao ni wavyele wangu na ni baba zangu there's an easy way to go up kunayo njia rahisi ya kuweza kupanda juu it is to stand on the shoulders of those who have gone ahead na hiyo njia basi ni kusimama juu ya mabega ya wale waliotangulia glory be to jesus utukufu kwa yesu the last time i was in malindi was 12 years ago mara ya mwisho kuwa malindi ilikuwa miaka 10 na miwili iliyopita and the 12 years na miaka hiyo 10 na miwili was waiting for the call of the same man who brought me the last time ilikuwa ni miaka ya kungojea simu ya mtu yule mmoja aliyenileta mara ya kwanza men are gates watu ni malango men are gates watu ni malango god works through men Mungu hufanya kazi kupitia watu. God answers through men. Na Mungu hujibu kupitia watu. When you do not honor those that God has honored. 
kama hutawaheshimu wale ambao Mungu amewaheshimu you will live a life of dishonor utaishi maisha ya fedheha na kukosa heshima so for my sake let's appreciate bishop tonight hiyo basi kwa niaba yangu tumpigie askofu kwa leo and i want us to appreciate the mpf Thank you for having me, Pastor Dan. Thank you for Asanteni sana mchungaji Dan together with all of me. Glory be to Jesus. Utukufu kwa Yesu. I'll say this as well and then we will be seated. Tasema hili pia halafu tutaketi. No single cloud can bring the rain. Hakuna wingu moja pekee linaloweza kunyesha mvua. The clouds must gather. Mawingu lazima yakusanyike. For the rain to fall. Ili mvua inyeshe. No one person. Hakuna mtu mmoja can take a city alone. Anaweza kuutoa mji peke yake. We must come together. Lazima tuje pamoja. So that we take it together. Ili kwamba tuutoe pamoja. Glory be to Jesus. Tukufu kwa Yesu. So let's appreciate our leaders in the body. Amen and we we may be seated. Amen. Tunaweza kuketi. We may be seated. Tunaweza kuketi. It's a beautiful night. Ni usiku mzuri. Luke chapter 16 Luka sura ya 16 Luke chapter 16 Luka 16 So Pastor Wanje is not the tallest in Malindi Kwa hivyo sasa mmejua mchungaji Wanje si mrefu zaidi Malindi hii Glory be to God Utukufu kwa Mungu God did not give me height but he gave me a voice. Mungu hakunipa kimo lakini alinipa sauti. The book of Luke chapter 16. Kitabu cha Luka 16. Verse 16. Aya ya 16. The law and the prophets were until John since that time the kingdom of God is preached and everyone is pressing into it Luka 16 kifungu cha 16 tangu Torati na manabii vilikuwapo mpaka Yohana tangu wakati huo habari njema ya ufalme wa Mungu uhubiriwa na kila mtu hujiingiza kwa nguvu Matthew chapter 12 Mathayo 12 Matthew chapter 12 Mathayo sura ya 12 verse 22 Aya 22 Then one was brought to him who was demon possessed blind and mute and he healed him so that the blind and mute man both spoke and saw Wakati ule akaletwa mtu mwenye pepo kipofu na naye ni bubu akamponya hata yule bubu akanena na kuona and all the multitude was amazed and said could this be the son of david now when the pharisees heard it they said this fellow does not cast out demons except by belzebub the ruler of the demons makutano wote wakashangaa wakasema huyu siye mwana wa Daudi lakini mafarisayo waliposikia walisema huyu hatoi pepo ila kwa Belzebuli mkuu wa pepo but Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them every kingdom divided against itself is brought to dissolution is brought to dissolution every city or house divided against itself will not stand basi Yesu akijua mawazo yao akawaambia kila ufalme ukifitinika juu ya nafsi yake hufanyika ukiwa tena mji au nyumba yoyote ikifitinika juu ya nafsi yake haitasimama If I cast out demons by Belzebub 
by sorry verse 26 if satan casts out satan he is divided against himself how then will his kingdom stand if i cast out demons by belzebub by whom do your sons cast them out therefore they shall be your judges na shetani akimtoa shetani amefitinika juu ya nafsi yake basi ufalme wake utasimamaje na mimi nikitoa pepo kwa belzebuli je wana wenu hawato hawa, uh, huwatoa kwa nani kwa sababu hiyo hao ndio watakao wa hukumu I want to talk tonight about the advancing kingdom. Nataka kunena usiku wa leo kuhusu ufalme unaosonga mbele. Ladies and gentlemen by virtue of our salvation. Mabibi na mabwana kwa sababu ya wokovu wetu we have been born into a kingdom. Tumezaliwa katika ufalme. In fact the writer of Hebrews hata hasa mwandishi wa Waebrania in chapter 12 and the round verse 29 somewhere around there Waebrania 12:29 mahali fulani pale somewhere around there mahali he fulani says, we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken anasema ya kwamba kwa kuwa tunapokea ufalme usioweza kutikisika God is greatly revealed to us in the scriptures as a king Mungu anafunuliwa kwetu kiukuu katika maandiko kama mfalme. Most of the writing of Matthew. Maandishi mengi ya Mathayo reveal Jesus as one who came to establish the kingdom of God here on earth. Yanamfunua Yesu kama mtu aliyekuja kuthibitisha ufalme wa Mungu hapa duniani. We were not called just to escape the world. Sisi hatukuitwa tu kuepukana ama kutoroka ulimwengu. We were called to establish a kingdom here on earth. Tuliitwa kuimarisha ufalme hapa duniani. In Revelation chapter 11 in verse 15 ufunuo, kumina moja, kumina tano, the scripture says the kingdoms of the world have become the kingdoms of our god and of his christ ndiko linasema ya kwamba falme za ulimwengu zimekuwa falme za mungu wetu uh, na, na, na kristo wetu that is why jesus came ndio sababu yesu alikuja to redeem mankind and to restore the kingdom back to god kumkomboa mwanadamu na kurejesha ufalme kwa mungu two things were lost by sin vitu viwili vilipotezwa kupitia adam man was lost mwanadamu alipotea and the kingdom of god on earth was lost na ufalme wa mungu duniani ukapotea the rulership and the domain of god on the earth utawala na himaya ya mungu duniani was lost when man was lost vilipotea wakati mwanadamu alipopotea and so even jesus na hivyo basi hata yeye had to come in the nature of the first man ilibidi aje kwa asili ya mtu wa kwanza so that he may restore man back to god and restore the dominion of the earth back Ili, to god ili kwamba mrejeshe mwanadamu kwa Mungu na utawala wa duniani kwa Mungu however hivyo hata hivyo when jesus came yesu alipokuja he changed how to do that he a, changed his methodology alibadilisha mbinu yake and he said i will build my church na akasema nitalijenga kanisa langu and upon this rock the, the the church shall be built and he says the gates of hell shall not prevail akasema juu ya mwamba utalijea kanisa langu na malango ya kuzima hayatalishinda the conversation about the building of the church mazungumzo kuhusu ujenzi wa kanisa began with the conversation around the identity of a man yalianza na mazungumzo yaliyo zingira kutambulishwa wa mwanadamu Matthew 16 and verse 13 Mathayo 16:10 Jesus says to his disciples Yesu akaambia wanafunzi wake who do men say that i the son of man am je watu hunena mimi mwana wa wanadamu ni nani and they say to him some say you are jeremiah wakamwambia wengine ukwambia wewe ni jeremiah some say you are elijah wengine wakasema ni elia some say you are john wengine wanasema ni yohana some say you are one of the prophets wengine wanasema ni mmoja wa manabii then he asked them but who Ye. do you say that i am kisha akawauliza na je ninyi mwaninena mimi nilikuwa nina and peter quickly says you are the christ na petro haraka akasema wewe ni kristo 
of the living God. Jesus said to him, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. But my father who is in heaven. From that point he began to talk about the church. Because the foundation of the church is the revelation of a man. Christ was many things to everybody. Some said he was one of the prophets. It did not really bother him at that particular point. Because those were the masses. But when he came to his disciples, he said, but who do you say that I am? And Peter said, you are the Christ. He said, now I am ready to build the church. Then he began talking about the mantle and the mandate that is upon the church. He says, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom. And whatever thing you bind on earth will be bound in it. And whatever things you lose on earth will be loosed. But remember he said, upon the rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. There are two things that Jesus brought out from that particular statement. One, he talked about the structure of the church and then he talked about the advancement of the church. So he says, I will build it and then the gates will not prevail. If it is not built, it cannot prevail. It has to be built for it to be able to prevail. So he takes time in building so that it can advance. The church was never supposed to be static. It was not supposed to be static. It was not supposed to be immobile. It is supposed to be living, breathing, and moving. It is supposed to be reproducing. But Jesus says before it can take up the mandate, it has to be built. Which means then that the church is like a house. The kingdom is like a house. It has to be built. When you are building, you will lay foundation. You will raise up walls. You will put up roofs. There will be different structures in different stages. That's the same thing concerning the church. Jesus Yes, in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 8 Paul says when he rose up and ascended up to heaven he gave gifts to men these gifts were given for the building of the body and for the advancement of the kingdom if you're still with me say I am here so it was given the gifts are given to build and to advance. It is the twofold. We build then we advance. We cannot advance with people who have not been built. Glory be to Jesus. Before Jesus sent his own disciples, three and a half years, he built them. He built them. It has to be built. 
built, Bishop Vogel. Lazima it has to be jen. built Lazima before it can be released. Before liu. it can move. Because if it moves without being built, Maana bila the gates of hell will prevail against us. I'm going to go a bit faster because I don't want to take too much time tonight. How far you go in ministry depends on how well you have been built. How far you go in life depends on how well you have been built. The scripture says that a man built a house on sand. Another one built on a rock. The rain came. The wind came. The storm came. And beat both houses. The one who built on the sand. The house came down. The one who built on the rock. The house stood. Both houses faced the same situation. Both houses faced the wind, the rain, and the storm. The difference was how they had been built. The rain falls on the just and the unjust. The difference is the foundation we are building the material that has built us and who it is that has built us. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 he says in verse 10 and 11 he says as a master builder I have laid the foundation. He says no other foundation can any man lay apart from Jesus Christ. Then he says, as a master builder, I have laid a foundation. Then he says, let everybody take heed how they build. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't all have the same assignment in the body. We are equal in redemption. We are not equal in responsibility. We are all saved by grace. But we are not graced the same. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have trouble here in Malindi uh -huh, tonight. Uh -huh. We are all saved by grace. But we are not grace the same. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 7. He says to each one of us has grace been given according to the measure of the gift of Christ. We are not gifted the same so we cannot be graced the same. I thought you talk in the night. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Now look at your neighbor say neighbor. You need to understand your assignment. Because the gift of God is given according to his assignment. And the grace of God is released according to the gift. Glory be to God. So Paul says, I have laid the foundation. He says, other people will build. But they need to be careful how they build. You know what that means? You cannot build until you get to talk to the one who laid the foundation. Okay, okay. All right. 
Because if you don't know how the foundation was laid, you will spoil it by what you build upward. You have to go back and ask, how deep is this foundation? How high should the building go? What kind of material should I use? In medicine, when I cast in medicine katika mda, they understand this principle katika of collaboration wanaelewa, wanaelewa they understand it wanaelewa. in fact it is said that even now in business Hata sasa inasema katika biashara. the greater moves of business are in collaboration Zile biashara kubwa kubwa ziko katika miungano. It is everybody identifying what the other person has and working together with them. Kila mmoja kutambua kile alicho nacho mwenziwe na kufanya pamoja kazi. Are you still here people? Bado mpo hapa wapi? Glory be to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. In medicine they understand it. Katika ulimwengu ule wa kimadawa wanaelewa hivyo. If I have somebody, may I have you please please come. You yes. Come. If this gentleman was a patient here to Dr. Otieno, Otieno, my friend, Kumradi, kuna ana, kuna o, Otieno. Wanje, be humble. Asante. Now, if he was his patient, sasa basi huyu kama alikuwa ni mgonjwa wake, and then he cannot do anything more. Alafu hawezi kufanya kazi zaidi. Oh, this gentleman mgonjwa. requires a specialist. Ama huyu bwana anahitaji mtu alikuwa kwa kazi. When he comes to the next doctor, akija kwa daktari mwingine. This doctor, huyu daktari must get the files from this doctor. Lazima apate faili kutoka kwa daktari yule mwingine. He wants to know. Anataka ajue. What did you find out? Ulipata kujua nini? What did you treat? Ulitibu nini? What did you prescribe? Uliweza kuagiza nini? regiment did he go through even though he may conduct his own test he, he cannot ignore the one who went before you cannot build and ignore the one who laid the foundation I wish I had believers in Malindi Glory be to God. You may be seated. Glory be to Jesus. Now, this is exactly how God has structured the kingdom. Let's talk about the building. Let's talk about the building. He says that he has given different people different gifts. In Ephesians 4 and verse 11, he says he gave some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry. When Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 12 and he talks about the different administrations and the different expressions, he says there are in the church first of all the apostles, then he talks about the prophets, then he talks about the various gifts. He also talks about the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. All I am saying is that in the building of the church, God has not placed everybody on the same level. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He has not placed everybody on the same level. He hasn't. <laughs> Let me repeat. In redemption, we are equal. In responsibility. You're not talking to me, Malindi. You're not talking to me, Malindi. Luke 12 and verse 48. Luke 12 and verse 48. The scripture says, To whom much is given, which means we are not given the same. 
hatujapewa sawa please talk to me malindi talk to me people ngeni nami tafadhali glory be to god hallelujah okay behave like you are in nairobi for today just just <laughs> adapt, 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 adapt for today adapt. can you imagine can you imagine you visiting a house and then nobody is talking then they say in this house we are always quiet ah, when the visitor comes things change you even pull plates that you were not using <laughs> You cook things that you are not cooking. After the visitor has gone, baada mgeni kwenda come back to default Warudi katika ule mazoea yako. Glory be to God. Kufu kwa Mungu. So, to whom much has been given, Bishop? Much is required. Na kila aliyepewa vingi, kwake yeye vitatakwa vingi. God cannot require much from you and treat you the same as somebody he does not require much from. Mungu hawezi kutaka vingi kutoka kwako na kuchukulie sawa sawa na ule ambaye yake ni vichache. If he requires much from you, kama atataka vingi kwako, then there's already a difference between you and somebody else no offense no offense you understand it's just for purposes of illustration if he requires more from you he, he cannot put you on the same plane as somebody he requires less from So he raises different kinds of people. Listen. The church was built on the revelation of a man. Now what I'm going to tell you will either help you or offend you. Ministry huduma is built around a man it is built around a man i like how you're quiet i like how you're quiet if you are a member of kag kama wewe ni mshirika wa kag and then you go on sunday alafu waenda jumapili you're going to worship Jesus, right? Waenda kumabudu Yesu. Talk to me people. Niongelesheni tafadhali. Don't give me character development. You are going to <laughs> Glory be to God. Kufu kwa Mungu. All right. So, you're going to worship Jesus. Waenda kumabudu Yesu. But if you don't find your father there. Lakini usipompata baba yako hapo. You may struggle to see Jesus. Waenda ukangangana kumuona Yesu. Okay, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a way you will feel the service is not going. <laughs> There's a way you will feel <laughs> that the service is not going. If I ask him, anytime he's away, there are people who will not come to church. So let's settle this matter. Ministry is built around a man. Huduma hujengwa juu ya mtu. Jesus is the spiritual foundation. Yesu ndiye msingi wa kiroho. But he picks men. Lakini anachukua watu. And he builds ministry around them. Na anaijenga huduma kuwazingira watu hao. So uh, when you ignore the man, if you are ignoring the one that has sent him. Bishop, can, can, can I speak the things I speak everywhere? Right. Okay. <laughs> now, when he calls a man, prepares him. Builds him. Fills him. 
puts his mantle on him puts his mandate on the man then he begins to pull people towards the man who was supposed to help the man fulfill the assignment you know, Bishop said, every Joshua needs a Moses. Do you know that Joshua was not called the servant of God? He was the servant of Moses. He went with Moses into the cloud. He stayed there 40 days. He was in the glory. God did not speak to him. Because God did not call him. Joshua was called by Moses. Joshua aliitwa na Musa. Men of God, there are people around you who God did not call. You are the one who called them. Watu wa Mungu, kuna baadhi ya watu mnaokaa nao kihuduma ambao Mungu hakuwaita. Ni ninyi ndio mliowaita. For them to move to the place of the call of God, they have to be faithful to the man that has been called. Na ili waweze kuingia katika wito wao, lazima wewe waaminifu kwa yule mtu aliyetwa. Somebody here in Malindi. When God wanted to transition, Mungu alipotaka kuleta uamishu, he didn't go to Joshua. He told Moses, lay hands on Joshua. The church is built on protocol. I think the people on this side are fine. Apart from the front row, I think let me talk to the people here and the people at the front. Glory be to Jesus. I can see life on this side. Glory be to the Lord. The church is built on protocol. Paul writing to the Galatians. He says he received the revelation from God. But later on, he went to those who were the pillars. In Acts chapter 15, when there were contentions among the Gentiles and the Jews who had come to bring circumcision, Paul had to go back to Jerusalem. This is a man who had seen Jesus by revelation. He had gone into the third heaven. But he still needed to consult with the generals of his time. I don't like how this house is quiet to me today. Glory be to God. He came back. This is the same Paul who has written two-thirds of the New Testament who has given us nearly the entire doctrine of the New Testament. <laughs> but he went back and he recognized Peter, Peter James, Johanna, and John. He recognized that there were pillars. I said in the lunch time, when we were beginning our ministry, church ministry, I looked for the fathers of the land, sowed seed in their lives. Because in the kingdom, whatever you have not been given is illegitimate. Glory be to God. 
<laughs> Paul writing about the communion. Paulo he says, says I declare to you such as I received. I'm giving to you what I received from the Lord Jesus. Everything you have legitimately must have been given. Are you people in the house of God? Are you people at the back in the house of the Lord? Are you in the house of God? The guys at the back, are you here? Are you for us or against us? Are you here? Glory be to Jesus. What did he say to Timothy? He said, stir up the gift of God within you, which was conferred by the laying on of hands. Anamambia kwamba chochea karama ya mungu ilio ndani yako ambayo ulipokea kwa kuweke wa mikono. Now, let me begin disappointing you tonight. Acha ni 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 All of you who prayed tonight ni ni wote mlie omba usikuwa that you want to see God. Ya kwamba wataka kumuona mungu. Let me tell you. Acha ni kwambi. Sisi ndio tuko. He's not coming. Haji. He's not coming. Akuji. He has already sent us. Sayari amesha tutuma. God have mercy in this place. Hey. God is not coming. Mungu hakuji. Touch your neighbor and tell them he has already come. Mambie tayari asha kuja. Please, if your neighbor is not talking to you, change neighbors. Change neighbors very quickly. Say to them, neighbor. Mambie jiran. He has already come. Tayari ame kuja. Where did you see Uliona wap? God coming down like that? Mungu it is mlai. in Exodus 3. Iko kule but even in Exodus 3, he tatu. came to send a man. Mtu. He could not go into Egypt himself. He said, Moses, I have heard the cry of the people. I have seen their affliction. I have come down to deliver them. Then he says, come, I let me send you. Judges chapter 6 verse 7 and verse 8. When the people of God were crying to God because of Midian, God sent a prophet. Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13. By a prophet, the Lord brought them out. By a prophet, the Lord preserved them. It is men who will send you to the next level. Ni watu atakao kupeleka kiwango kile kingine. I'm telling you. Mwambie basi. After you have prayed for 90 days. Baada ya kuwa umeomba siku 90. There's no wind that will blow in your house. Hakuna upepo atakao puliza nyumbani kwako. God will send men. Mungu atatuma watu. Let me even offend you the more. Put up Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 8. How are you people doing? Hey, how are you people doing? 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 All right. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 8. For all of you who give tithe to God, let me show you. I'm not bringing tithe to a man. I just want to put my tithe in the hands of God. Me, I'm not. Men will not eat my money. I'm giving to God, not to men. Hebrews 7 8. Oh, me. Here. Here. Here, hapa, somebody hapa. say here. Sema hapa. You are not talking. Say here. Sema hapa. Mortal men. I need to go and sleep. <laughs> here. Anasema. It is not the spirit. Si roho. Not Jesus. Si yesu. Men who die. Watu apatikanao na kufa. So those of you. 
Ninyi ambao muliacha kulipa fungu la kumi kwa sababu mko katika agano jipya. If you understand the writing of the book of Hebrews. Ukielewa maandishi ya kitabu cha Hebrews. It is the explanation of the new covenant to the Jews. Ni ufafanuzi na maelezo ya agano jipya kwa wale wa Yahudi. God have mercy. He says here on earth Anasema na hapa wanadam men wanadam not god Simu. not angels Sima not spirits Sima men receive wanadamu hupokea ama hutoa sehemu ya kumi Then he says there he receives it Anasema na huko So when i receive it here Hivyo basi nikiipokea hapa he receives it there. Are you still with me? Talk to me. Are you still with me? So that means he doesn't need to be here. I am here. Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. Cornelius was praying and giving praying and giving somebody say praying and giving if your neighbor is not talking they are a suspect say praying and giving you know what some of you do you are only praying that's why your life is not changing an aeroplane cannot move on one wing there will be no balance. You cannot row your boat only on one side. You need going round. You need both sides in order to advance. So look at your neighbor say, we will be praying. I'm watching you. Nina you know, kutazama. I have been given authority by bishop and then the fellowship. I'm watching you. Na pia Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. <laughs> and stubbornness. You know stubbornness? Pia stubbornness. Sugu. We are Wangu. giving and we are praying. Every prayer meeting must end with giving. Kila mkutano wa maombi lazima umalizike na kutoa. I wish I could come to where you are. Natamani. Every prayer meeting must end with giving. Kila mkutano wa maombi na uishe na kutoa. You cannot just be praying, 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 praying. Wezi ukawa mtu wa ombe, ombe, tu kuomba, kuomba, kuomba. And then you're giving nothing. Alafu utoi kitu. Cornelius. Cornelio. His prayers and his giving had come before God for a memorial. Now, God should have gone to his house. He did not. He looked for Peter. The God I see in the Bible does not visit people. <laughs> He sends people to visit people on his behalf. Amen. When this man came to Malindi, it is because there were people whose cry the Lord had heard. Now, he was wise even if he didn't know but he was wise. When you come into a city Listen, this is what Jesus told his disciples. When you go into a city look for the one who is worthy. You cannot change 
kingdom dynamics. Wezi ukabadilisha miondoko ya kiufalme. Look for the one mtazfute yule who holds the city. Anayeupchika mji. There are people who hold the city in the kingdom of darkness. Kuna watu wanaoukamata mji katika ufalme wa giza. There are people who hold the city in the kingdom of light. Na kuna watu wanashika mji katika ufalme wa nuru. And even in those various kingdoms there are ranks. Na hata katika falme hizo zote kuna viwango. There are principalities. Kunazo ngome that you cannot push out. For you to do that, you yu. have to bring somebody of that rank Lazima umlete mtu into your mwito. territory to yako. speak grace Anene so nema. that your ministry grows. Ili yako ikue. Lord have mercy. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> you must be an you have to be legitimate. Wapaswa kuwa mtu ambaye ni You can contend with the prince of darkness. Waweza ukapigana na mkuu wa giza. You cannot contend with the ones God raised in the church. Wezi ukapigana na yule Mungu amemwinua katika kanisa. We were not called hatukuitwa <laughs> to bind the ones who went ahead of us kuwafunga wale wale tutatangulia samuel samuel born a prophet amezaliwa nabi are you still okay bado mko sawa born a prophet amezaliwa nabi born under an old priest amezaliwa chini ya kuhani mzee old priest kuhani Mze. Old priest, yes. Mze. All right. Mze. God is no longer talking to Eli. Mungu haongei na Eli tena. But Hakim. he raises Samuel from under Eli. Anamkuza Samuel chini ya Eli. <laughs> Ambaye Mungu haongei naye. Because God builds on protocol, I tell you. Kwa sababu nakwambia Mungu hujenga kwa itifaki. This is what David understood. That even if God had left Saul, it was not his responsibility to kill Saul. You cannot bring down somebody you didn't place there. Romans 14 verse 4. It says, "Who are you, O man, to judge another man's servant?" To his master he stands. To his master and to his master he falls so samuel growing under eli you know the generations as they come more charismatic are you people still here we are more charismatic there's a difference between being charismatic and being anointed kuna tofauti kati ya kuwa mtu wa charisma na kuwa mtu ambaye ametiwa mafuta Charisma just means you can move people. Unajua charisma ama uchangamfu ni kumaanisha kwamba unaweza kugusa watu. destroys the yoke. Lakini upako huaribu nira. See we have a lot of people with charisma and no anointing. Unajua kuna watu wengi ambao wana misisimko mingi na hakuna upako. When you leave the place you realize you are still carrying the same burdens. Ukitoka mahali hapo ambapo unasema umechemushwa umechemushwa bado unatoka na mizigo yako. Then there are men na kuna watu wengine who know God. Wanaomjua Mungu. If they tell you, wakikwambia, God bless you. Mungu akubariki. It's not a statement. Si kauli tu. You 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 don't hear what I'm talking about. It's not a statement. Because God backs whatever they say. Because Glory be to Jesus. 
So he was growing under Eli. One time he had a voice. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. He went to Eli. He said, did you call me? And he said, no, go back to sleep. Then he comes back the second time he had it. The third time, the old man said, this one, that must be God. It took an old priest who no longer would hear God to tell Samuel, that is God talking to you. Iligarimu kuhani mze ambaye hakuwa mungu anamungelesha tena. Kumusaidia Samueli kujua huyo ni mungu anayongea na wewe. Last month, I think it was last month, one time I put up a post on my Facebook timeline and I said, I don't know why I am always speaking for the fathers of the land. I rarely speak for young ministers. I say, I don't know why. Across this country and everywhere else, Nikaeka posta katika Facebook yangu nikasema sijui kwa nini lakini mara nyingi najipata nimealikwa na mababa and in every city na katika kila mji everywhere i go kila ninapo there will be one father utakuwa na baba mmoja that will be the gatekeeper ambaye atakuwa mlinda open the gates everywhere kila popote niendapo now if i try to come here by myself i would not be speaking to the mpf Nikijaribu kama ningejaribu kujileta mwenyewe hapa nisingeweza kuongea na umoja wa chungaji. You're not talking to me people. Glory be to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. You know me I just worship Jesus. Wajua mimi na mabudu Yesu pekee. My ministry is from the Lord. The Holy Spirit came once. He has never gone back. He is in men. In Acts chapter 10, I'm going to show you these things from the scripture. Acts chapter 19, sorry. Acts chapter 10, when Peter spoke in the house of Cornelius, the Holy Spirit came upon Cornelius. Acts chapter 19. Paul preached to men. The Holy Spirit came upon them. The kingdom is a kingdom of transference. In the next 10 minutes, I will be done. So skip it here. Glory be to God. So what would the enemy then want to do if he wants to weaken the kingdom? Remember we said it is built, then it advances. If he wants to interfere with the advancement, what does he do? He weakens the building. That's why Jesus said where we read in Matthew 12. A kingdom divided against itself. Cannot stand. Then he says. A house divided against itself. Cannot stand. Then he says a city divided against itself. Cannot stand. Glory be to God. A house, a kingdom, a city divided against itself cannot stand. We have to recognize, ladies and gentlemen, every house has a head. Every kingdom has a king. Every city has a head figure. In politics, they understand this. If I want to come and campaign in Malindi, I look for the person who has Malindi. You people are not talking to me over here. Glory be to God. 
You know I'm seeing you. You are dozing off. That's why I'm telling you to say amen. That's it. will make you fall unless you are sitting properly. Somebody say I'm here. Jesus said, when you go to a city, find a wealthy person. Yes. Stay with that person. Yesu akasema mkienda mji fulani tafuteni mtu anayestahili na mkakae na huyo mtu. So this is a principle. Hii ni kanuni. I tell you I live by and it works for me. Kumbia ninaishia mimi na inanifanyia. One time our ministry was going down bishop. Moja huduma yetu ilikuwa inadidimia. The natural processes of ministry. Katika ile hali hizi. Where you wake up and you find all the leaders and everybody has gone. Ambapo unaamka na unapata viongozi wote wamefunganya virago wamekwenda zao. Everybody that was said to be somebody had left. Kila mtu aliyesema alikuwa hapa, kila mmoja alikuwa Everybody who was said to be somebody kila mmoja ambaye alisemekana kuwa ni mtu wa kutajika they had gone wameenda wote then god in his interesting ways ishe mungu katika njia zake za kufurahisha caused me to be invited to speak here in mombasa akanisababisha mimi kuja kukualikwa kuja kuhubiri mombasa if you have ever been left properly you can think god is no longer with you sasa kama ushawahi kuachwa kweli ukweli unaweza ukafikiri kwamba ni kama Mungu hayuko pamoja na This side is where my people are. Watu wangu wanaonekana wako huko. Let me let me talk to my people Acha on this side. Acha watu wangu kidogo. If you have been left properly. Kama ushawahi kuachwa kweli kweli. You can think God has left you. Unaweza fikiri hata Mungu pia amekuacha. <laughs> So I came to Mombasa. Hivyo nikaja Mombasa. Day 1. Siku ya kwanza. Kenya Cinema. Pale Kenya Cinema. Preaching in the Grace Hour. Ubiri kwa mkutano wa mchana. The oil is flowing. Mafuta yanatiririka. Then I'm asking myself. Shinajiuliza. The person that I was in Nairobi and then here what has changed? Because the people in Nairobi have left. Sasa mimi niliyekuwa kule Nairobi na mimi hapa siku ya pili. By the third day, siku ya tatu. So we had people sitting on the balcony. Kwa na watu wamekaa hata juu. Day 4 5. Siku ya 4. We had tatu. a great week. Tukawa na juma nzuri sana. On Saturday, a certain preacher came into Mombasa. Juma mosi mhubiri fulani akaja Mombasa. When he met me at the hotel where I was. Alipokutana nani kwa hoteli niliyokuwa? We had not seen each other for a while. He said when I saw you, the Lord told me to give you the money I have. I was supposed to bank it. I got late, so I got onto the flight. I thought I was to put it in the bank. The Lord has told me to give you the money I have. So he said I will do it tomorrow. Which was Sunday. He did it Sunday afternoon. I went back to speak in Buxton. Pale Buxton. So when I'm there, Papa Lai is just worshiping. He's Baba doing his own things. The Holy Ghost begins to say, take all that money and give the man. I said, ha. <laughs> Listen. Sikia. <laughs> I have left a church that people have left. Nimeacha kanisa ambalo watu wameondoka. A breakthrough has appeared. Upenyo umeonekana hapa. Now the Holy Ghost is saying give all this money. To the... I said no. He's fine. He's fine. He has no issues. Huyo hana maswala, huyo akosawa. He has no issues. Hana ma, hana I tried to avoid it. I went up to preach. Worship so that I can forget it. I preached. I finished. The voice is still there. Let me tell you what I did, Bishop. You know, when you confess your sins, you live long. So I said, if Bishop lied, if there's a need, let me tell the people to give. So I asked the people to give. They gave. The Holy Ghost said, take whatever you have. 
Chukua chochote ulicho nacho. I tell you the truth. Kwambie ukweli. I was on the microphone. Nilikuwa katika when I went to him. Nilipo mwendea. And I say I want you to bless me. Namwambia nataka unibariki. And I took all the money that that preacher had given me. Nikachukua pesa zote ule mwendea. And I brought it to him. And nikampendea. And he said the grace that is on my life. Na akasema neema iliyo juu yangu. Let it come upon you. Acha ije juu yako. From that moment. Toka wakati huo. The ministry began to revive. Huduma ikaanza kuvuviwa. I'm a praying man, but I'll tell you. There are things that are transferred by men. Mimi ni mtu wa muombe lakini nitakwambia kuna vitu vingine ambavyo hupitishwa na watu. Let me help some of you very quickly before I give this. Wasaidie wengine wetu kabla nimalize. A year and a half later I hosted him in, in Nairobi. It was a very interesting season. Ilikuwa ni majira ya very difficult season. Majira magumu. But he was gracious enough to come. Lakini alikuwa wanema sana kuja. Friday and Saturday. Siku ya Ijumaa na Jumamosi. So on the Friday he said I feel like doing something. Siku ya Ijumaa akasema ninahisi kufanya. If I do it I will live tonight. Nikifanya hiyo nitaondoka usiku wa leo. He said so you people come tomorrow. Akasema ninyi watu ndio ni kesho. We came the next morning. Tukaja asubuhi leo fuata. He started praying. Kaanza kuomba. Binding the principality in the city. Akifunga zile ngome mle, breaking mshi. everything in the city. Vunja kila kitu mjini. When he finished, alipomaliza, called me. Akanit, held my hand. Akanishika mkono. Then say to the rest. Akaambia wengine, come and spread your hands, lay your hands somewhere, just be in contact. Njoni tunamweka mikono mahali fulani. And this is what the Lord sent me to do in Nairobi. Hiki ndicho Bwana alinituma kufanya Nairobi. I speak the truth because I know this thing is life. Na nena ukweli ama najua haya. He held my hand and he said this is what the Lord sent me to do. Bwana alinituma nifanye hivi. He said he sent me to release the baton. Asima amenituma niachilie kikwa 2014 9th of November. 2014 tarehe 9 ya November. From that point kutokana wakati our church planting began. Basi upanzi wetu wa makanisa ukaanza. Now Sas. We are in several counties at the same time, not Tuk, just within Nairobi. Tuko katika county nyingi mwa Even mwa. counties I have not gone into. Hata county ambayo sijawahi kwenda. What you're looking for is in a man. Kile unakitafuta kimo ndani yako. I don't like how this house is quiet on me. Yuko nini mnanyamaza? I carried a whole team. Nikabeba timu nzima. 40 people. Watu Two times. We went to do meetings in Kisumu. Kaenda kufanya mikutano Kisumu. That's the town I grew up in. Mji ambao nilikulia. So I went back to give into the city. Karudi pale mjini kupeana. I called Bishop Mark. Ampigia simu Bishop. Said I want to come and do a meeting in the city. Kuja nifanye mkutano. He said what is your plan? What is your thought? Wako ni gani mawazo yako ni gani? I said I just want to do a meeting. Nataka nifanye tu mkutano. He said what support do you require? Sema unahitaji msaidizi gani? I said well if we can just get some publicity. Kama tuweza tukapata tu kututangazia. Later I called him again. Baadaye nikampigia simu. I said would you be gracious to let us use the cinema hall. He said, come and cinema. do it. Sema when I got there, he said, that's 2015. He said, every year we do our revival meetings from January. He said, this year I delayed. I was praying that God would give me the man that would come. He said when I called him he knew this was it from that point bishop every year in Kisumu bishop will call me and say you know you are the first preacher that comes here ananipigia na kuniambia wajua ndio mhubiri wa kwanza kuja hapa mantles are transferred basi mantles inapata kupitishwa talking to in this place mantles are transferred napata kupitishwa people don't just make progress watu hawapigi hatua tu they are men who will contend with things that will make your passage easy watu ambao watapigana vitu kuhakisha kwamba kupita kwako ni rahisi i wish i had a believer here there are men who will make your passage easy kuna watu watakao sababisha kupita what you are fighting with somebody has fought before ile unachopigana nacho kuna mtu ashakipiga tayari 
If you find a man who has fought battles, you don't need to fight battles. You bless the man who has fought the battles. We did that the first time, we did it the second time. One time he told me, Bishop Kisumu, one time he told me, he said the reason God is making ways for you is two things. He says, one, you have never forgotten where you came from. Number two, you live in honor. Akasema ni mambo mawili la kwanza ni kwamba hujasahau kule uliko toka halafu la pili unaishi kwa heshima When we were laying the foundations of the ministry the first 3 years well we were just bringing in the giants of the land the fathers to come <laughs> Listen you can have every Greek Hebrew, you can have everything and struggle in a classroom for 25 years. Acha ni kuambie kama ni muhuduma umeenda shule umesomea uko na Kiebrania chote, Kijerumani chote na lugha zote ambazo uko nazo na bado kabakia ndani ya darasa miaka yote hakuna kukua. One of the reasons we struggle in kingdom advancement is because we have a culture of dishonor. Moja ya sababu kwani tunashindwa kupiga hatua katika ufalme ni kwamba tuko na utamaduni wa kukosa heshima. A house divided against itself. Nyumba iliyofitinika yenyewe. Cannot stand. Haiwezi kusimama. If you're still here, can I hear you say I'm here? Nikusikie sema niko hapa. Can you imagine your biological child? Hebu fikiria mtoto wako leo. Where is the son of Pastor Otieno? Where is the first son? Ni wapi yule vijana wa kwanza mfungaji Otieno? Tafadhali njo, tafadhali njo. How old are you? 21. You see the way he's tall? Unaona venye alivyo mrefu. So today he decides. Sasa leo ati amue that he's not his son. Kwamba huyu si babake, ana si mwana wa huyu just because he has grown tall. So now he decides, this is not my father. You know how, you know what we do in Kenya? If your father has a ministry of 100 people, the day you have 200, you say he's no longer your father. The height of this man does not change his relationship to this man. Are you people listening to me? His height does not change his relationship. My son is a bit taller than him. But I remain his father. <laughs> you understand that? They may be as old as Eli. They are fathers. The scripture says honor. Even biologically, it says honor, honor them, honor. Spiritual, biological fathers, honor them. Andiko linasema waeshimu, waeshimu wazazi, wakiroho wazazi, wakibayolojia, eshimu. You can't talk against them. Wezi ukaongea kinyume chao. You don't fight with them. Upigani nao. If you have something that you feel is that is pressing you, you go and express it to them in honor. Kama kuna kitu nafikiri kina kufinyilia, unawaendea na unawaelezea kwa eshima. You don't break their ministries because now you are, people are telling you you are powerful. You know, Wanje here, now I see him doing a lot of things. So he looks powerful. But he doesn't have to have power. He just needs to plug. Anaitaji tu kujiunganisha mahali na kufionza. If he leaves, kiwa hatatoka. 
when he leaves Akijitenga. and he is sent to go on his own Na, kuenda kivyake vyake. he will respect this man uyu, uyu mtu. he will respect him that's when he will wonder how do people gather 20 people Watu wanaweza kukusanya wa 20 na mlango. Leave alone 200. Achana na watu 200. Okay, let me show you that leadership is not very easy. How many single men are here? Single men, single men. Ni vijana wangapi ambao hawajaoa? Men, men who are not married. Wanaume ambao hawajaoa. Rise. rise, I want to see you and I want to come. Simameni vijana wote ambao hamjaoa. Nataka niwaone. Okay. Sawa. All right. Uh, most of these men are married. Or oh, the other one, they were wondering whether they are married or they are single. That's why they are standing late. Oh, yeah, be clear about this thing. Be clear. Be clear about this thing. You know, some of them are not standing quickly because they have kept somebody somewhere uh -huh. and the person will ask questions. Okay. Let me tell you. This is just general. No offense. All right? There are those younger ones. Don't worry about them. But this is just general. You know why these gentlemen are single? It is not easy to convince one person to follow you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's not easy. Si rahis. One, just mutu, one person. Yani mutu mumoja tu mushawi. To say your people shall be my people. Asene your God wa, wa, shall wa, be my God. Wa, it's wa, not easy. Wa, si rahis. So when you find a man, Sasa ukipata mtu. people have been following him for 30 years. Watu wa mekua kimufuata miaka uh, pelathini. Honor that person. <laughs> I'm telling you. Honor that person. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. <laughs> and then you see, some of these people didn't start with all these things we have nowadays. Even this house has been improved in the last few years. Some of these people, all they had was the Bible. Nothing else. And people were following. Now somebody comes and starts speaking to your head through Facebook that there are no fathers, don't follow men, there is this, we are in the dispensation of grace. You also need deliverance. You need deliverance. Let me tell you, let me spoil, let me just spoil. Acha let me spoil haribu, this thing. Acha you know, there are people kuna watu. that people follow Bonafu. who create trouble for us. One of the people who has really gone out and spoken against fathers, spoken against grace, spoken against tithe. Moje watu ambuwa menda kinyume na kuongea kinyume cha mababa, kuongea kinyume, kinyume cha fumula. Four years fula. ago. Their team called us. They wanted to come and speak at our church. I did not know that they were getting ready to get into Kenya. So they called her PA and, and, and spoke to her. Said, so we would like to come. These are the dates we want to come. And this, this, this. Then they said, oh, you need to know our message is this, this, this. But then this is the catch. So they say, you know, we will come business class tickets. About five of them. Apart from the other people. Five star hotel. Now, the man who is telling people not to pay tithe is asking for business class tickets. Yule mtu ambaye anambia watu wa silipe fungu la kumi anaulizia tiketi ya business class. Then they say, Alafu anasema, Don't worry. Msijali. The money will come from the meeting. Pesa zitatoka kwa huo mkutano. You see, 
Don't just follow things, ladies and gentlemen. Musifuate vitu tu. Don't just follow things. Because it is new and it is exciting. It's not once. Several meetings that they have had with people even in the boardroom, they do not play games with their demands. But they will come out and say, there are no fatherhood, no tithe, tithe is in the Old Testament. But their demands, if they come here to Malindi right now, this pastor's fellowship, Malindi. you will spend five million. Mutatumia milioni stano. But then they will come here and say, don't give tithe, forget the fathers. And then, I was going to use a word that is not spiritual. But, <laughs> and then the simple people just follow. And you are walking away from people who have raised you from nothing. That now you have discovered new truth. Okay, let's close. The kingdom, ladies and gentlemen, will not advance Ufa. if we don't have people who are built. Ufalume hauta songa mbele kama hatutakuwa na watu alio jengeka. And for your information, Na kwa yako bas, there is no self-made man. Hakuna mtu ambaye amejiunda mwenyewe. If you're still here, say I'm here. Kama kwa hapa, sema nipo. Now, let me ask you the simplest question. Ni kule kabisa. Did you give birth to yourself? Ulijiza. Biologically, did you give birth to yourself? Biologia, ulijiza wewe. So that already means you're not self-made. Sasa hilo tari nadhirisha kwa mba wewe hawezi ukajishimamia kujikuza. You're not self-made. Wewe hujengenezi mwenyewe. Your father and your mother came together. Baba yako na mama yako walikuja pamoja. They donated genes. Wakapata kuchanga genes. So when you say you're self-made, you have the stubbornness of your grandfather. The noise of your grandmother. The patience of your mother. You're not self-made. You're a biological fundraising. <laughs> Wewe ni harambe ya kibiolojia. People have contributed things Watu for you to be who you are. Changia, changia vitu ili uwe vile then they trained you. Lafu then they finish. took you to school. Upeleka shule. Somebody taught you how to say I am self-made. Somebody taught you. Kuna you didn't know how to read. Somebody taught you how to say I am self-made. If the kingdom is too advanced, Look for the ones who are going ahead. Tafuta wale wale kutangulia. Let me give you two portions of scripture, then I go. Upatie two. maandiko Can I? Alafu okay. John chapter 6, verse 28. Yohana sita ishiri na nane. John chapter 6, verse 28. Yohana sura ya sita kifungu cha ishiri na nane. They came to Jesus. Wakamgia Yesu. And they say, what shall we do so that we may work the works of God? Who wants to work the works of God? Who wants to work the works of God? Okay, even my corner has disappeared. Who wants to work the works of God? <laughs> it's not a trick question. It's just a very simple question. Who wants to work? <laughs> right. Look at verse 29. Jesus said to them, This is the work of God. Believe in the one who has been sent. Mwaminini yeye aliyetumwa na yeye. 
It's as simple as that. Yani kwa rais namna hiyo tu. Good morning people. Bari asubuhi watu. It is so simple. Ni rahisi. It is so simple. Rais. He didn't say go to the mountain for 94 days. Hakusema endeni mlimani siku 98. He said believe on the one who has been sent. Alisema muaminini yeye aliyetumwa. It's as simple as that. Ni raisi namna hiyo. Now, Genesis 16 verse 8. Sasa mwanzo 16 kifungu cha 8. Haga got pregnant at one point. Hajiri akapata ujauzito. But her mistress was not conceiving yet. Lakini yule mdosi wake Please listen to me don't read the scripture let me give you the story first. But this Bible you have it every day. So you had not read it so just listen to my story. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. Sarah was not conceiving. Sarah hakuwa na ujauzito. Then she brings Hagar. Alafu anamleta Hagar. Gives her an opportunity. Anampatia fursa she conceives. Anapata ujauzito. When she saw that she was pregnant. Alipona kwamba ni mjamzito. She despised Sarah. Akamdarau Sarah. Who was her mother? Aliyekuwa mama yake. Because she felt that Sarah was not productive. Kwa sababu alihisi kwamba Sarah hazai. So what did Sarah begin to do? Sarah akaanza kufanya nini? Sarah began, began to mistreat her. Sarah akaanza kumtenda mabaya. So Hagar said, Sasa Hagiri akasema, I cannot be under an authority that is mistreating me. Siwezi kuwa chini ya mamlaka yanayonitesa. <laughs> she went away. Akatoroka. The angel came. Malaika akamjibu. And said, "Hagar." Akamwambia, "Look at how he calls her. Sarah's, Sarah's maid." Anamuita kijakazi wa Sarah. Even heaven knew. Hata mbingu ilijua. She was Sarah's maid. Yeye alikuwa mjakazi wa Sarah. Some of you are trying to run away from the position that you still hold even in heaven. Even heaven knows. Baadhi yenu mnajaribu kutoroka hata vile na still supposed to grow under somebody. Jua ya kwamba lazima ukae chini ya mtu ukue kwanza. And you're trying to move. Na unataka kuhama. Heaven still registers that you are an Asha. Mbingu bado inakujua wewe si mhubiri ni Asha. But then a few people have lied to you. Lakini watu wachache wamekudanganya. So while you are ushering wakati unapokuwa shamba come and greet you apostle. Nakuja na kusalimia mtume. 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 <laughs> Slap your neighbor tell him wait for your time. Chapa jirani yako mwambie ngojea wakati wako. Just because she was pregnant. Eti tu kwa sababu ako mjamzito tu. So now some people got slain. So what? In your meeting? Hivi you are prophesying to two people. Ulikuwa unatabiria watu wawili in church. Hapa kanisani. Alafu uita bia muache. You cannot be a nasha standing there and then you are telling somebody ni ujumbe nione baada ya ibada. You cannot be standing there as a nasha and a prophet at the same time. Wezi ukawa asha pale tena uko na unabio. The day you have your own house prophesy while you are here shut up. Siku ile ukiwa na nyumba yako utatabiri ukiwa hapa nyamazi. Naona kitu naona kitu yeah. naona kitu naona kitu ndani yako naona kitu <laughs> Sasa wewe ndio Mungu atakuonyesha vitu hatuonyeshi sisi God God is not confused. Mungu hajachanganyikiwa. If he shows you anything, he wants you to pray, not to prophesy. Akikuonyesha kitu anataka uombe, si uje uanze kutabiri tabiri. Bishop, you see this is why I wrote this book Understanding Prophetic Dimensions. There are a lot of messes in the church. Kuna vurugu nyingi na vurumai makanisani. The operation of wisdom. 
utendaji kazi wa kujua cha kusema na ukiseme wapi you are eating in somebody's house wewe unakula ndani ya nyumba ya mwenyewe. The man is not born again. Na sasa huyo bwana hajaokoka. The lady is a good member of the church. Na huyu mwenyewe nyumba ni mshirika mzuri wa kanisa. You have gone and sat there. Umeenda umeketi pale. Ordering everything you want. Unaagiza kila unachotaka. Because that lady believes you are a prophet. Ete kwa sababu huyo bint huyo ana She will lose her marriage. Atapoteza ndoa yake na unabii wako. She will lose her marriage. Atapoteza ndoa yake. Then you start speaking about the husband. Halafu naanza kunena kuhusu mume. The things you see. Vile vitu ambavyo ulionyesha. The man will kill you in the name of Jesus. Huyo mume atakuua kwa jina la Yesu. And God will gladly receive you. Na Mungu atakupokea and say rest from your labor. Nasema pumzika tokana na kazi yako. Haga says, Haga is told, Sarah's maid, where have you come from? Where are you going? She said, I am fleeing from the presence of my mistress. Sasa basi akamwambia hajiri wewe mjakazi wa Sara unatoka wapi nawe unakwenda wapi akasnena ninakimbia mimi kutoka kwa mbele za bibi ya Sara yangu Sara Look at verse 9 Kifungo cha 9 And the angel of the Lord said <laughs> Malaika wa Bwana akamwambia Return to your mistress Rudi kwa huyo mkubwa wako and do what Na ukafanye nini You are not telling me and do what Nani ukafanye nini and do what Ukafanye nini I want you to look at everybody around you and tell them submit yourself Nenda ukanyenyeke Tell them loudly tell them boldly Ombe, tell them submit yourself kwa sauti mwambie nenda ukanyenyeke The angel bishop did not ask her how is she treating you Malaika hakumuuliza anakuchukulia The angel didn't say I will talk to her to change Malaika hakusema nitamwangeleesha The angel didn't say I'm sorry that uh, she's treating you like that doesn't Malaika she know you carry the child of Abraham Kujua kwamba unabeba mtoto The angel said Malaika alisema The seed in you ile mbegu iliyonaga cannot be born in the wilderness Haiwezi zaliwa jangwa Go back and submit yourself Rudi na uka jinyenyekeze There are people here tonight Kuna watu hapa chini You need to humble yourself and go back and submit na uende ukanyenyekeze In the name of Jesus Hata jina la Yesu running around Hata kutoroka troubling yourself Hata kujisumbua Stop trying everything Hata kujaribu kila kitu Your next level is in you just going back and hatua yako ya pili ni kwa kuwe kurudi na submit ukanyenyeke this is how we are dividing the kingdom hivi ndivyo tunapasua ufalme everybody running everywhere kila mmoja anakimbia kimbia kila mara so we are not a force ndio basi sisi si jesh everybody is on their own maana kila mtu ako na vyake everybody feels they know kila mtu anahisi anajua everybody thinks they can do it mtu anafikiri anaweza fanya When the devil wants to weaken a house, Shetani akitaka kulemaza na kutokisha nyumba. He causes the sons to rebel. Anasababisha wana wa asi. A house is as strong as the sons it has. Nyumba ina nguvu kulingana na wana iliyo nao. So now somebody has money. Sasa hivi eti mtu wako na pesa. Open a ministry. Anafungua huduma. Yet probably their assignment was to finance the ministry. Hata huenda kwamba pesa walizonazo zilikuwa za kufadhili huduma tu. Nobody is talking here. Somebody sings for a while, Mutu begins wa... to gather numbers, they open a church. Mtu anaanza kuimba vinyimbo vyake, watu wanaanza kukusanyika, anafungua huduma tayari. The gifts that are supposed to build the house are all being split. Karama ambazo zinapaswa kuijenga nyumba zinapasuliwa na kutapakaa. So now we have powerful preachers without money. Sasa tunawahubiri wa nguvu bila pesa. And then we have people with money who have no power. Na kuna watu wako na pesa na wana. Everybody is running their own thing. Kila mmoja anaendesha kitu chake.
I have a friend. I tell you this, no lie. I have a friend. <laughs> he was doing a church in a certain city in South Africa. He's a Kenyan. One day, sitting in his house, he had been given brand new Mercedes C200 like 12 years ago. No, 14 years ago. C200, brand new. Single man, three bedroom house, fully furnished. Everything imported. He's sitting there. Been given a church of over 200 people. While he was sitting by himself, he said a hand slapped him. The guy fell. When he woke up, he knew he was leaving. As we speak now, he is taking care of cattle in his village here in Kenya. Analisha ngombe zao kule Kenya, hapa Kenya katika kijiji chao. Wow. I like how you are quiet now. And the problem is, shida ni kwamba. Listen, there are people you follow, they will destroy you. Unajua kuna watu unawafuata watakao kuharibu. Gamaliel, Gamaliel akasema Men, what? Be careful what you are doing to these people. If what they are doing is of men, it will come down. If it is of God, <laughs> then he began giving stories. He said there was so and so. Four hundred people followed him. Let me help those of you who like following things that begin with a bang. Four hundred men followed him. The scripture says that he was destroyed. And all his followers perished. Then there was Judas. And people followed him. And he died. And his followers perished. The kingdom has protocol. It has order. The moment we have military formations, we have people who fight on the front, people who lead from the back, people in different ranks, we will begin to advance the kingdom. I pray for Malindi that this city will not be divided. Glory be to God. I pray that we will not be divided. Honor those who have gone ahead. Honor them. It is not a denominational thing. It's a kingdom thing. Glory be to God. When we have men like this still alive, we honor them. You may not be a member of JCC, but never join anybody that is speaking against fathers. Don't join them. Don't join them. <laughs> When these places were bushes, they are men who fought both in the spirit and in the natural. They are the reason we can come and do what we are doing. So whatever ministry you are part of, just make sure you're not following somebody who is killing other people. If you're still here, wave your hand. You're not following somebody who is killing other people. You don't want to be in church on Sunday about a pastor who is attacking him. What does that have to do with you? Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus.
when I find time another time, because I really try to crash this, it's something we do for the whole week. We find time another time, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about it. But for us to advance, we need to be built. Structure. Please rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. I pray that the Lord will preserve you. Naomba kwamba Bwana atakuifaa. Malindi, I pray the Lord will preserve you. Malindi, naomba Bwana akuifaa. I pray the Lord will preserve you. There shall be no confusion. There shall be no division. There shall be no malice. No envy. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. I have learned that whatever you dishonor you cannot have. Even just generally, how we treat older people will determine how long we shall live. Let me speak. You know, most of us over here. Are people who are in social media spaces. So you look like you're on the same level with everybody. <laughs> sure, be careful. Be careful. Before you answer somebody, <laughs> find out who they are. Are you people all right? Are you people all right? Jemu ko sawa? Jamani, kwani umelazimishwa kuja kesha? Are you people all right? Muko sawa. All right. Glory be to God. Ufu kwa Mungu. Be careful. We makini. When I talk to men, I didn't do this the other day, but when I talk to when I talk to ladies who are about who want to get married, I say, never marry a man who does not have a man he fears in his life. Napongea na wasichana ama watada ambao karibu kuolewa nawaambia kwamba there must be somebody that man is afraid of lazima <laughs> kuwe na mtu ambaye huyo mwanamume anamuogopa when he calls and says john i need to see you akimpigia simu akimwambia john nataka nikuone John will show up. Johnny atatokelezea. The culture of honor. Ile tamaduni ya heshima. He is the fertilizer for the blessing to flow. Ndio mbolea ya baraka kupata kutiririka. Everybody just raise your hand in this place and worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord. Mwabudu Bwana tu. Just magnify him. Nitukuze jina lake. Just magnify the Lord. Tukweze jina la Bwana. Wherever you serve, serve faithfully. Wherever you belong, be faithful and fruitful there. And the Lord will bless you. Ela mada da 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 mas se ele bele bala bala gosha. Shira mara madere bosi bele malaga da gosha. Ela mana la 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 maga de gele bosh. Bele bala la bala la gosh. Shira la 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 bosh. Shira madere de mosi la 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 mas.
Come on, come on, come on, just magnify the Lord and ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Lord to help you. Vile, leave your quango. Where my wako was idiote. One in Shangas, one in Shangas. Na Shangas, na nen pendo lako. Vile, leave your quango. Where my wako was idiote. One in Shangaz, one in Shangaz. Everybody help me say. Na Shangaz, na bendo lako. Shangazo, say one more time. Shangazo, na pendo lako. Vile, ulive yo kwangu. We mawako, wasi. Father, tonight we honor you. We give all the glory to your name. Thank you for gathering us as the body of Christ. Thank you for bringing us together. We pray that this night going forward, we will advance, we will increase, we will multiply, we will take territories, we will reproduce in the name of Jesus to the glory of your name. And somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. I want to ask us to give tonight. I want to ask us to give. Is that okay? I want to ask us to give. Everybody who can give a thousand, get it? You can give your five hundred, get it? I want us to give. I want us to give. And you can give more than that. But take out your 1,000, your 500, your 2,000. Glory be to Jesus. Whatever number needs to be on the screen can be put as well. But we are pulling out our money tonight and giving. Praise God. Father, in Jesus' name, bless every giver. 
multiply every gift in the name of Jesus let the rain of heaven water the seeds that are being sown in Jesus name amen and amen we may go ahead and give as I hand over the program Amen. Just bring your offering. Let us send a care to Papa. Let us send a care to Papa. Um, to to Papa, the number you have to call. C O E E ni ya kanisani. C O E E ni ya ushirika le tutaweka. Na umba secretary na kapeane number kule iandi kwe apo. Kapeane number kule iandi kwe apo. Mara moja tu. Let it, let it, let it. Sadaka ile nzuri. Ile unahisi ina mustahili buwana. Ile sadaka unaona ina mustahili buwana. Let it sadaka yako, let it sadaka yako. Fanya hivyo mara moja na ubarikiwe. Fanya hivyo mara moja na ubarikiwe. Fanya hivyo kila moja, kila moja. Mbone ya mkuchi. Mkuchi mbone. Fanya haraka, fanya haraka, fanya haraka. 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 Fanya hara